According to the World Health Organization, cardiovascular diseases are the leading cause of death today. Half of the cases come from Asia and the numbers are set to rise. In 2014, our board decided to endow the Tanoto Foundation Professorship in Cardiovascular Medicine at Duke NUS. Through this gift, we hope to accelerate medical discoveries that will help doctors treat heart diseases more effectively. My name is Stuart Cook. I am the Tenota Professor of Cardiovascular Medicine. I'm also the Director of the Cardiovascular Metabolic Disorders Program here in Duke NUS. My research is really centered around finding what goes wrong with the heart muscle, why it goes wrong and how to fix it. We use a number of different techniques to get to that answer. One of those is human genetics. It gives us a very solid basis on which to then follow up with our uh, more detailed studies. And also if you want to find new drugs, human genetics has a really great basis on which to build all of those things. The reason that why people get disease is a combination of two major aspects, the genes and the environment. So what you're born with and then what you do to yourself. That's what determines if you do or don't get disease. For instance, cardiovascular disease is the number one killer of people in the world and in Asia. Um, and there's some specific differences here that we don't understand. So we're interested in a disease of the electricity of the heart which causes young men specifically to die suddenly. And this is prevalent in Indonesia, in Thailand, in Malaysia, Philippines, and in Singapore. Uh, and they got um, disease of their arteries when they're younger. And if they have a heart attack, after they've had a heart attack, they do worse, even if they get treated. Any um, disease of the heart muscle, like a heart attack, they all end up in one common thing, which is scarring of the heart muscle. When a heart is scarred, the electricity goes wrong in the heart, and that can cause you to drop dead from uh, abnormal heart rhythm. Regionally, we don't understand is what's normal in Asia from a genetic point of view. So if I sequence um, people's DNA here in Singapore or in Indonesia, um, I find lots of things that I just haven't seen before. And I don't know if that is good or if that is bad. Medicine is very slow moving. Uh, and a lot of the medicines we use in the, in the cardiovascular field were made 20 years ago. So we need people to drive innovation. We are building these very large databases and we have big ambitions. This is something that's been done around the world uh, and we haven't yet done it well enough here, but we are going to do it. So we try to make discoveries. Discoveries on their own are useful because you never know what that discovery will bring. The discovery of DNA structure many, many years ago is now bearing fruits here many, many years later. People shouldn't always just look at the product or the, or the diagnostic. The discovery of new science itself is extremely important. Private funding is interesting and it's something that's far more prevalent, useful and gratefully received in Singapore. It's that bit of money that gets you, we call it the valley of death. Uh, which is the step between the discovery and the, something that is being given to the patient. And between those two things is a funding gap. So, so the one thing that the, the Tonota Award has enabled me to do specifically um, that I wouldn't have done before is explore translating our discovery into something that can be used as a diagnostic or a, pro or a product for a therapeutic. 